the beginning of the parasha of this week, which we started yesterday, starts with the words, Vahaya Ekev Tishma'un, and if you will indeed heed, listen, Esa Mishpatim Ha'ele, these ordinances, and Moshe Rabbein continues to Shmart and Vasisa Moisam, you will safeguard and you will be following the laws of Hashem, then God is going to keep the Shom Alecha, and God is going to keep His covenant that He made with you and showering all the blessings. So Ekev is translated, indeed, when you will. Ekev also means the heel. So the Zechidic saying, Vahoyo Ekev Tishmaun, that even your heel, the lowest part of the physical body of the person, should also hear, should be permeated with the message of God. In other words, the entire person should be completely involved in the experience of Torah, mitzvahs, and Judaism. But this brings to mind a Mishnah, that which is the third Mishnah in Pirkei Avot, the first Mishnah, and there it says the following, Akavyo ben Malalil Oimer, Akavyo, the son of Mahalalil, says, Histakil bishloisha devorim, consider these following three things. You will never come to commit a sin. Should be aware where you come from and where you're destined to go. And in front of whom will you have to give justification for your entire life experiences. And then he goes into details. Where do we come from? The body begins growing from a spoiled drop in the mother's womb. Where are you going to? A place of dust and worms, burial place. In front of whom are you going to have to give a compte rendu, so to say? Who are you going to have to report eventually? In front of the supreme king of all kings. Now, when we look at this very simply, this seems to be a very stern, very frightening statement, basically telling us, who are you? Who do you think you are? You are coming from a spoiled drop of fluid. That's your origin. Where are you going to? To dust. And remember, you are going to have to give an account of all your deeds to God. Now, this doesn't fit very well with the meaning of the Mishnah. We know the Mishnah is Milzeh the Chassidusa, an uplifting experience. So here is the deeper explanation. Akavyo, which you said, comes from the word Ekev, heal. Akavyo, the one who is permeated with the concept of Judaism. The son of Mahalalel, Mahalalel comes from the word of Halel, praising. So even the heel can appreciate and praise Hashem. How so? By focusing on the ultimate goal, Bishloisha, the number three, referring to the third Beta Migdash, the third temple that we are anticipating and anxiously awaiting for its appearance. How do we make this happen? So he says. When we recognize where we're coming from, me ayin. Ayin refers to God. Ye, God created the world, yesh me ayin, ex nihilo, something out of nothing. So that ayin is, God is the source of our existence, is the source of our being. So first of all, recognizing we are important. We have tremendous potential. We have tremendous power. God created us. This is where we're coming from. Now, where are we going to? Place of dust. Dust represents humility. As Avram says, I'm just dust. The concept of humility. To understand. I have a tremendous, powerful, great potential. But I have to be humble to realize that the potential that we have is because it is God-given. And when we remember this, that we are on a journey to reach the third, the third temple, 
and we are going to have to give an account to God himself. Meaning, God cherishes. God looks upon us to be extremely important. He cares. He wants to know every minute detail of our lives. He wants to hear a report. Not a general report, but a detailed report of every waking moment of our life. Why? Because we are important. So that's what the Mishnah says over here. A most uplifting, a most empowering Mishnah to tell us we come from God, we humble, and we are going to be eventually met by God, and to Him we are going to have a report. When we live this way, indeed, we will merit the Shloisha, the third Besamikdash, hopefully, certainly, today.